So I'll talk about uh, some anti-cyclotomic PA uh, air function uh, for si some higher rank rank and cerebral product. So uh, on Monday, uh, Sarah has talked about uh, a great introduction to the PID air function. But her case is in the so-called cyclotomic case. And uh, the, the, the other direction of uh, PID air function appears uh, when one consider uh, number fields other than Q. So for example, in the, in the first cases, like uh, people consider an uh, imaginary quadratic extension. Okay, and then take a prime P. And uh, so in this case, if you consider uh, the abelian extension, so abelian extension, maximal abelian extension that is unramified outside P, so this Galois group contains a subgroup of CP square uh, uh, up to uh, a finite index. So inside the CP square, there's one comes from the Galois group, QP infinity. Maybe I should put, this is CP, uh, contains CP. And uh, uh, this copy of CP is called a cyclotomic. And there is another copy of CP called anti-cyclotomic. Cyclotomic. So I'll give a more formal definition in a more general setup. So in this talk, we're gonna consider a, a slight more, slightly more general situation. So we fix a CMA extension. Of a number fields. So F is a totally real number field and E is an, a totally imaginary quadratic extension of F. So I'm gonna fix a prime P, uh, which could be two. <laughs> that uh, splits relatively in E over F. This means every periodic place of F splits in E. Yeah. And uh, so we're gonna denote by gamma EP as the Galois group. This is the Galois group of uh, maximal abelian extension of E and ramified outside P over E. Okay. So if you use class field theory, uh, this gamma EP is the profinite, uh, more or less same as the AE E cross and R C L Okay. And then we have a natural inclusion gamma F P inside gamma E P. And there's a quotient we denote this by gamma minus EP. Okay. And this will be the cyclotomic, cyclotomic direction, and this will be the anti one. But this, uh, so I denote this by no minus. Okay. So the, the, the notation comes from, there is actually another. Uh, short again sequence, gamma EP, let's take a norm to gamma FP to zero. And the kernel is also gamma EP minus. Okay. So, but this is not a section of this uh, norm map. It's a, a section up to a uh, square. So the the anti-cyclotomic periodic uh, L function we're gonna study is uh, actually an element. So we are gonna study to consider uh, measures on gamma E P minus. Okay, that's mm -hmm. the goal today. So more specifically, I will consider L over P 
QP that is a finite extension. Okay, so we have, uh, so recall that we have this Iwasawa uh, algebra CP, uh, the formal completion of the group algebra. So this is a profile group. So you take a formal completion with coefficient CP. Then, uh, so I, I, then I define a notion called L gamma EP minus uh, circ. This is defined to be the CP gamma EP minus tensor as L over CP. This is a subalgebra, but they're not equal to the formal completion of gamma EP minus with coefficients in L. Any, any question? Uh -huh. Oh. Sorry, I own. Yeah, this is bounded. This is not necessarily bounded. It's a billion. Yeah. It's a Galois group. Uh, it's a quotient of a Galois group of a billion extension. Yeah. Huh? It's a profinite uh, abelian group. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. You mean in terms of that? Oh, oh, okay. You mean uh, you mean this ring look like right? Uh, it's a uh, Okay, up to a finite algebra to CP with some formal variable, finitely many for, for formal variable. Yeah, up to a finite uh, uh, algebra over CP. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so that, that's the Iwasawa algebra we're gonna uh, study today. So let me introduce the representation. So we, we also take a, a natural number N, this is greater than one. So the rank and Selbert product we're gonna discuss today is the co-rank one case. So it's a GLN plus one times GLN. So we take a, a representation pi, this is pi n, box tensor pi n plus one. This is a representation of GLN AE, finite part of GLN AE times GLN plus one. with coefficients in L. Okay, L is a finite extension of QP, such that, okay, there's a, a bunch of conditions. So first, such that, okay, so the condition is for each index, for N is, is either N or plus one. First condition is that for sum, hence every, embedding yota from L to C, uh, this yota pi, okay, this is a, a, a representation of just pi n of uh, a finite Adele. So you pa patch, uh, okay, I will, I will explain this later, is uh, an isobaric sum of uh, mutually non-isomorphic conjugate self-dual hospital automorphic representations. Okay, what is this uh, infinity uh, add up? So this where is pi n infinity, I call the mean, is the uh, cohomological representation of GLN e infinity of a minimal weight Okay, I'm, you can write down this representation very explicitly, but I'm not going to do that. 
So this is a uh, analog of a uh, base change of the weighted two um, discrete series to C, or analog of that to higher higher rank. Okay, that's the first condition. And the second condition is condition at the P. So we want for every periodic place U of E is pi and U as a semi-stable ordinary. Okay, so semi-stable means it has a Iwahori fixed vector. It's ordinary, just or ordinary. Uh, do I need to explain what ordinary? <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, okay. These are two conditions. So example. So this example we'll, we'll keep in mind throughout the whole talk. We will call this example called the Cosim case. Okay. So we start from two, uh, there are elliptic curves over F, and they are modular and no CM. Sorry. <laughs> okay. And uh, by the by the Monday talk by Newton, by Newton saw. The sim n minus one a, then your base change to e will give you such pi n. And sim b, you take n symmetric power, then your base change to e will give you pi n plus one. Okay, and in this case, you can take l to be can take ah, uh, and and in this case, we can take L just to be QP. And we, we, we can, so this condition that the pi n u is a semi-stable at uh, every periodic place uh, simply means that uh, both A and B have ordinary reduction at every periodic place of F. Okay, that's a key example. Yes, you can take a b to answer to this. Yes, you can take a equal b. Okay, so that's one. Uh, that's an example. Keep in mind. Okay, so the goal is to uh, there is a run self L function for every uh, complex realization of this representation. And uh, we're gonna to define an anti-cyclotomic uh, PID function interpolating it. So as attached to this pi, uh, one can associate an uh, epsilon factor, which I, I will make it explicit a little bit later. Okay. So this is a element of uh, plus one or mi minus one, which will be defined later. So let me first uh, state the, the theorem. Okay. Under this uh, setup, there exists a unique element I call this uh, L P zero pi, this is an element in the Iwasawa algebra. Bounded, okay, bounded. It's, it's there. Okay. Such that for every finite character, chi gamma EP minus two L chi cross, where this L chi is a finite extension of L. And uh, every 
uh, embedding yota from L chi to C. Now you can evaluate your periodic elf, your, your element periodic measure at this chi. You get an element in L chi. Then you uh, in, embed it into C. This is a complex number. Uh, this e I'm oh, sorry, no. This one. This equal to. Okay, the formula is very long. I don't have space. <laughs> and let me move there. <laughs> It's my bad. I should start a new board. <laughs> but no, no enough space. <laughs> uh, every character uh, and every yota, maybe uh, of conductor. Uh, let's say PV, FV at. Uh, uh, Of conductor PV at a, uh, at a, a periodic at periodic place V of F uh, with FV strictly. So the the interpolation formula at this moment I will only state it for those characters that are ramified at every periodic place of of F. Okay, so in this case, the formula looks uh, much easier. Okay, so let's continue. And what is yota LP zero pi pi is equal to product all V divides P. Any problem? Uh, it says QV to the six times N times N plus one, two N plus one divided by yota as a lambda pi v to the fv times there's a complex number delta m plus one times the most important term is the central L value of yota pi n twisted by pi composed with norm minus then rank up oh, sorry it's pi m plus one this is yota pi n divided by L1 yota pi n from SI L1 yota pi n plus 1. Maybe n? I forgot. <laughs> okay. Okay, something like that. Mm -hmm. So what, what is this one? This lambda pi uh, v, it is some, some it does, doesn't matter what it is. It's some, something OL cross, okay? It's invertible, that's important. Uh, depending only on pi v, it's a local term, okay? So any question on this formula? Okay, uh, see that again. Okay. AS is R psi, R psi. R psi L function. R psi has R psi plus, R psi minus, right? Okay. I mean, if there's a one, either plus or minus, this one will be a pole because it's a unitary base change. I, I forgot which one is not a pole. You put it the one that is not a pole here. Okay. So as a remark, what the delta is. Ah, delta is some, uh, okay, let me write. This is just a, uh, a product of uh, elementary L value I, eta, EF, I, I from one to N plus one, I guess, or maybe N, uh -huh. okay. A eta, EF is the quadratic character associated to E of F. Mm -hmm. So if you're trying to understand one balance, saying that it comes from base change, but... Yeah, one is from base change, yeah. But you're saying it actually means it comes from base change? Yeah, it actually means it comes from the, and, and the, the tempered cuspid representation of unitary group. But to state the theorem one doesn't need any unitary group, but the proof requires unitary group. Okay. The theorem has nothing to do with Hermitian space. <laughs> okay. So if, if epsilon is minus one. Yeah. 
Oh, uh, this is zero equals zero. There's always zero here. That's a very good point. Okay. So let me add some remark. So the first remark I, I, I will just say. So uh, unlike unlike. So if you look at this interpolation formula, this is stronger than most of those periodic L function interpolation formula in literature, because it starts from, it does not choose any embedding from QP to C, okay? It does not. It is a periodic L function validating abstract periodic field. And the interpolation formula holds for any embedding from, from L to C. So in some sense, this interpolation works simultaneously for all Galois conjugate of pi. Okay, not just the one you, you start from. And the second, uh, this formula, the theorem only, so, so the interpolation value at all characters that are ramified at every periodic place is already enough to pin down a unique element in the bounded uh, Iwasawa algebra. That's, that's a well-known fact. But uh, of course you're curious what, how, to, how to evaluate this periodic L function at all finite uh, classical characters, okay? That's actually a long-standing problem in this uh, periodic uh, uh, reconcilable L function. That's a local question, okay? But unfortunately, recently, uh, two of my colleagues, uh, Bing Yong Sun and uh, uh, Dong Wen Liu, they, they have a completely new method. They have claimed to find uh, the exact formula for every, for general finite uh, character chi. So they have been able to, to evaluate this uh, L P zero pi at every finite character. Okay. Uh, the, the result is the one as expected. <laughs> so uh, the second remark is just, uh, <clears throat> David has uh, mentioned that uh, uh, so when epsilon pi is negative one, uh, this L value always vanishes due to uh, because the epsilon, uh, the root number of this Rankin cell product does not depend on chi. Okay, it does not depend on chi. So if your original pi has negative one root number, everyone here has negative one root number. So the L function vanish. So the L, L function here is just uh, constantly zero. So it's, it's uh, not interesting theorem at all, okay? So you, you want to interpolate a zero, of course zero function is the one uh, <laughs> doing that, okay? But there's even more serious reason that the right-hand side can be constantly zero, even the epsilon factor is a positive one because um, in our definition of pi, it's not a stable. So this is, uh, we, we never say that the pi is a cuspidal, okay? It's an isobaric sum of cuspidal representation. So this epsilon pi is actually a product of finitely many smaller epsilon, uh, epsilon factor of a smaller rank conservable product. As long as there's one of them is negative one, then that L function should be constantly zero, okay? So how to, um, how to uh, state that in a, in a better way is the following. So we can actually uh, consider this one. So okay, maybe I just start a new board. As I haven't really defined e epsilon pi for you, let me, let me state the, the hidden relation of this problem to local gangrose Poisson. Okay, so for all finite place V of F, so by local GGP, there is a unique permission space called the V and V over EV. And uh, so I'm gonna give more notation so I will, once you have this Vn V, you can, you can create a Vn plus one V just as Vn V add a line of, of norm one, okay? And I will denote by, by G V, denote by the product of Vn V tensor 
so times v n plus one v. And inside there is an H V, which is just a diagonal embedding of the U V and V. Okay, so you V M plus the, the, the unitary group of V N V is naturally a subgroup of V N plus one V uh, stabilizing this vector. So you have a diagonal embedding. So H V is a subgroup of G V. There's a unique Hermitian space and an admissible representation, an irreducible admissible representation pi v of g v f v of coefficients in L such that there's a non trivial home space. Uh, to L. Okay. Now I define E pi, epsilon pi, to be the product of the eta E over F uh, determinant of V and V or V less than infinity. Uh, say that again. Which me? You mean this one? Oh, and irreducible, okay. such that there exists a unique commission space Vn plus Vn V and a representation pi V of GVFV such that this holds. Yeah, okay. Yes. Yes, the yeah, pavi is also in this. Yes. Uh huh. Oh, sure. I'll, okay. Five like the base change, the base five. Oh, sorry, I I not finish it. In, you know, in, such that uh, uh, the base change of pi v is the the bigger pi v and okay now i understand you <laughs> and home okay okay sorry <laughs> okay okay so there are two two cases so that the case one is that uh, ramify no, no, I didn't assume it. Uh, okay, I'm assuming all, all this endoscopic classification. <laughs> so the the existence of local base change for for every V. To treat the Hermitian space. If I ramify, how do I distinguish the but if, if there's even rank, the two are different, right? Yeah. Everything else is same. No, you have two different uh, VN, right? Okay. Yeah, only one of them will make this happen. Yeah, only one of them will make this happen. Are, are you worrying about when N is odd, you can't distinguish two, or is this what it is? Right? But the when n is odd, n plus one is even. Okay, so if you start from the two Hermitian space here, when n is odd, the group are same. But when you do this, this this is different. So yeah. Okay, so first case is the epsilon pi is uh, plus one. So in this case, uh, there exists uh, a unique global Hermitian space. Uh, over okay, sorry, the in index always means the rank. Okay, I, I won't say this anymore. So, Vn is the rank as n over, over E or F. This is totally positive definite. 
uh, and with those prescribed is V and V. Okay, V and V is like those here. Okay, so this is a Hase Minkowski theorem. So if all these are uh, the product is one, then because totally positive definite Hermitian space at Archimedean place has this determinant of one. Okay, so you can the the the, the global uh, epsilon Hasse invariant for this uh, V is, is plus one, so you have a rational one Vn. Okay. Now in this case, uh, you, you similarly consider G that is UVN, hence the UVN plus one. This is now a reductive group over F. And you consider home, uh, this is pi, pi is the product of pi v uh, to the space of, uh, of locally constant functions on g f on g f with, with value in L. Did I miss one? Okay, so I denote this by v Pi. Okay. So here is uh, so then let me give a remark. So the local GGP is uh, there's a refined version of local GGP. This will tell you that this v pi is not zero if and only if or. There exists a unique VN Hermitian form with pre that. That's the end of the sentence. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There is the, this is a when this is one. Then there is a unique VN that is blah blah. Okay. So this remark is that this V pi is non-zero if and only if all factors in this epsilon pi is are one. Okay, so under this condition, one should expect that uh, the right hand L function should not be zero or, or always be zero. So here is the first uh, conjecture, a non vanishing conjecture on periodic L function. Can I yeah. Maybe all of the, like the local EVs to... Oh, factor, I mean the isobaric factor. Oh. Oh. Isobaric factor. Not the oil, oil area, <laughs> not the overall V. Which are you? Uh, oh, okay. So, okay, I just erased. Uh, oh no, it's there, right? There is a. It, so the condition is that if you view it as a co complex coefficient representation, it is an isobaric sum of a lot of representation. Each factor will give you an epsilon factor, and the total epsilon factor will be the product of them, right? Okay. Um, so conjecture. So if you if, uh, you realize that in the notation I put a zero uh, as a superscript in the L function. This zero means it is supposed to be responsible for rank zero case. Okay. So I will the conjecture uh, I, I label it as n zero. Okay. So. Uh, so this L, L function, LP zero pi, okay, assume this epsilon pi is one, okay? This L function is not zero if and only if uh, V pi is not zero.
Okay, that's the now vanishing conjecture for the PIDL function. And the second, uh, whenever you have a PIDL function, there should be a corresponding Iwasawa main conjecture. So let me state the Iwasawa main conjecture in this case. Okay, once we are done with rank zero case, we will go to the more interesting case where epsilon pi is negative one. So you are saw our main conjecture. So we start from this pi, right? And this pi has two, two factors, pi n and pi n plus one. So each one, rho pi n, so where pi n will give you a Galois representation, rho pi n, Two GL n, so maybe I will pick this n. GL n l. This is a semi-simple. Okay, this is to, due to a long list of uh, people, so please allow me not to mention any of them. So uh, this is a uh, now current. I think is a well-known knowledge. So then I will put, a, I will denote by W pi. This is a rho pi n tensor rho pi n plus one. Then uh, up to a suitable twist such that uh, W pi dual is isomorphic to W pi uh, twisted by negative one, okay? Am I correct? Oh, oh yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we're going to define an Iwasawa module, Iwasawa Selma group attached to this W pi. So here's a, I mean, it's actually the similar thing has already been defined by, by Sarah on Monday. I will just uh, uh, briefly record the definition. So we, we have this, uh, recall that we have this profiler Galois group. Okay. Now for any triple f equal to fv for all v divided p, there is a an open compact subgroup. This is an open compact subgroup. Okay. And actually that the whole uh, is just the, the projective limit of each finite quotient. Okay, so now we have this gamma EP, uh, there's a norm map to gamma EP minus, then there's a quotient, gamma EP minus divided by quotient by US, and I will denote by E, F over E, this is a abelian group, abelian extension associated with this, the kernel. Okay. Uh, whose Galois group is the kernel of the above map. Okay. Now, for each fine extension, uh, you can consider the block cardo selma group, I'll put a BK here. I didn't put F here because I already use F for conductor. <laughs> so I just use BK for block cardo, okay? And I take the limit, the, the inverse limit with respect to co-restriction map, okay? And, and I denote this by H1 BK E infinity W pi. Okay, this is not a correct definition because no bounded in this condition here. So inside here, there's a bounded one. Which I will again put a circ here to be consistent with the previous notation. So what is this? You just choose an arbitrary lattice. You just choose an arbitrary lattice, W pi circ, arbitrary lattice. 
and you form the, okay, I, I cheat a little bit. You form, form a block cuddle thermal group using this lattice. Then you tensor RSKP, DP. And it's easy to see that, uh, the, that after tensor, uh, it, has, uh, it is independent of the lattice you choose. Okay, so I would just by bonded. So this is usually called a Iwasawa thermal group. And you can check that this is a, this is an, okay, by the way, this is the both thing are L, are a module over L gamma EP minus circ. And they are finitely generated. Okay, so the Iwasawa main conjecture, which, any questions so far, yeah. Yeah, you said you are cheating. Uh, I'm cheating is that actually it's the limit is taken in the image of the above one, uh, not uh, it itself. Sorry, which things are you saying about the Say that again. Oh, the the, the later bounded one is uh, is finitely generated. That, yeah, <laughs> thanks. That's a key, that's an important point. <laughs> yeah. Uh, conjecture uh, uh, called I zero. This uh, the characteristic ideal of uh, this is the bounded the Selma group. You are so oops. It's generated by the periodic function. Uh, by the okay, this is all, all in L. Okay, so in this, in, in the, the, the whole story, I'm ignoring the inter p integrality of the story. So, uh, all every Iwasawa object will be inverted by p. So, I don't really care about the, the what is. Mu invariant, mu invariant. <laughs> so I only care about this uh, this variable. Okay. So here's a theorem in progress. In progress. This is a uh, this theorem will be a joint work with uh, uh, Tian Yichao, Yichao Tian and Liang Xiao. Is that uh, under certain circumstances, in particular in this circumstance, in the case of Sim. In the situation of sim, uh, we can show that in, in this situation, we know that for all, for p sufficiently large, we can show that uh, one divisibility of it, so the L function belongs to the characteristic idea of H1 BK E. Okay. Oh, I, I should remark that when A is one, so it's essentially the GL1 times GL2 case, uh, the, the whole construction is already, it's originally done by Bertolini Damon uh, like 20, 20 years ago, more than 20 years ago. Okay. So the whole thing is, uh, uh, so let me add uh, some remark. What time is it? Uh, so the remark, let, let me the remark add to both proofs. So the proof of the existence of uh, this periodic uh, function. So proof, uh, the, the theorem, the first theorem, Maybe I call the two here. The previous is one. 
Theorem one, there are two, two in, ingredients, two important in, ingredients, two main ingredients. The first one is the recent uh, solution of the global GDP for UN times UN plus one. This is uh, by Fuzal plus C, my, myself, and uh, Wei Zhang, Xin Wen Zhu. This is in the stable case, and uh, shortly later by Bizarre plus C, uh, Shodrach, and Sidor. Okay. And, and the second ingredient is a local ingredient, which is slightly older. It's, a, it's called a local Birch Lemma at P. Uh, this is by KMS, Kajdan, Mesa, uh, Schmidt, and by Januszewski. And the theorem two, okay, that's a, that's a much larger theorem. This is a, Okay, this is based on two. So first is the strategy is still use the, the bertolini damon strategy. It's bertolini damon And uh, I mean, bertolini damon only did this for the curve case. So for higher dimensional Shimura variety, this is a continuation from the, our previous uh, large paper on this uh, B Building some block cardinal conjecture. So it's a LTUXCZ Tian Xiao Zhang Zhu. Okay. So this paper uh, plus this paper in progress, like a 400 pages at least. Okay. Now let me, I still have a time. Okay. Good. Move to the story where epsilon pi is negative one. Any questions so far? Say that again. Character ideal. Uh, character I ideal. Characteristic, what's it? Characteristic ideal, sorry. <laughs> Not character. Okay, so what happens if x and pi is negative one? Okay. So if it's a negative one, this PIDL function, which I just erased, is just zero. So it's not interesting at all. So in this case, we don't have that V anymore because that VN will have a global negative one has in right? So it won't be rational. But in this case, we can produce a so-called standard indefinite one as in Charlie's talk yesterday. So for simplicity, I'm gonna fix an embedding E into C. Okay, so there exists a unique VN uh, similar to there, which has signature uh, N minus one one at this default. Let me denote by U at uh, U restrict to F and the signature N zero. Uh, other real places and uh, with prescribed uh, what prescribed V and V okay then you also have a group G and uh, there is a, a subgroup of H okay both over F and in this case G will have a Shimura variety so I denote this by K. This is a unitary Shimura variety. Over E as a subfield of C uh, of dimension 
two n minus one. Okay, and this h will give you some uh, some uh, Shimura sub variety. Okay, so this h will give you k intersect with h a f infinity two x k. Okay, this is dimension n minus one. This is dimension two n minus one. Okay, and this is a finite and ramified map. So for any given k, uh, this defines a cycle class. So in, in this case, what we're gonna do is that we for, so uh, for every triple, F for VFP, uh, okay, so, sorry. Okay, so for any triple V equal if we, we divide p, we are going to, so we, we construct an element, a cycle uh, called a C, uh, K, or is this F? This is an element in C called dimension N, uh, X, K, Base change to, sorry, this is here, EF, 2F. Oh, sorry, this is cycle, this is. Okay. You, using uh, using uh, this, this embedding, uh, this, this morphism, but you change, change the level, level subgroup. Okay, so I'm, not, I'm not gonna go to details. And this one due to some, uh, some, some hack projector thing, this will actually go into H1. Uh, the BK, the EF, I don't know this V pi. Okay, so what is this V pi? This V pi is home uh, pi h a f to the middle cohomology two n minus one uh, l n the x k bar and you take all limit okay this is v pi Okay, this this is both face v pi is an analog of this v pi in the uh, in the uh, epsilon factor plus one case. Oh, okay, sure. <clears throat> okay, so here's a, a hypothesis. So this V pi, oh, sorry, it should be pi pi du. It doesn't matter, let's forget about you. <laughs> This V pi, it's semi simplification is a, is a, is a separate, separate plantation of W pi. 
Okay, this will this is gonna is will be no will follow from the work of uh, Kisson, Xing, and Yi Hang Zhu. At least the one F is not Q. Okay, so what the proposition is that. Uh, these classes are actually compatible on the, so this will an, actually an element in the bounded, in the, in the Iwasawa Selma group. Uh, the bounded one. Okay. And uh, moreover, for this, uh, there's a USO version. So we know that for Selma group, there's a periodic height pairing by Nikova. And you can define a USO version of that pairing uh, starting from Nikova's original pair. So there is a pair, I call this H, uh, from H1 BK to e infinity V pi times H1. Hi. to v pi do to the Iwasawa algebra. Okay, that's a sysquid linear. This is a Iwasawa linear in first variable and a conjugate Iwasawa linear uh, in this variable. Okay, so now you can, now I define this L1 pi L1 P pi uh, as the height of C K F, this element. So I denote by this element by C pi. So C pi and with the dual version C pi dual. Okay. Ah, oh, sorry. Uh, it should be tensor over gamma F P over CP, okay? So this element is gamma FP and CP with this Iwasawa algebra, gamma EP minus E circ. Okay, so it's conjecture, uh, N1, non-vanishing conjecture. Uh, so this rank one, in the rank one case, this uh, PIDL function is not zero if and only if uh, this both of V pi is not zero. Sorry, sorry. Okay, I'll finish in one minute. Okay. Conjecture Iwasawa one is that uh, the characteristic ideal of uh, the H1 BK E infinity W pi. Okay, this one now has a has a free part given by I mean supposed to have a free part given by this uh, element. So the, if you just consider Kirchhoff's ideal, if your you so module has a free part, then Kirchhoff's ideal is, is zero. So it's not uh, interesting. So you need to mod out uh, element given by C pi. Okay. Mod out by the sub-module generated by C pi. So this one is supposed to be torsion. Okay, supposed to be torsion, at least under this condition. And this characteristic ideal should be generated by, uh, by L, L P one pi for all L, that is the projection from gamma F P to C P. Okay, this is the, uh, this, this Iwasawa conjecture can be regarded as certain high dimensional analog of their parent view has a so-called Higgin point uh, main conjecture. So this is kind of uh, analog of that conjecture to higher, higher dimension. Okay, so the reason, let, let me give a last remark. So the reason I I'm formulate this uh, rank one conjecture, of course, it's natural to formulate such a conjecture. And more importantly, 
the construction of that cycle, this C, actually appear in the proof of the rank zero conjecture. So the, the cycle in the rank one conjecture will be used in the proof of here, but in a slightly in the level raising way, okay? So that's why uh, this is the two purposes of considering rank one as, as well. So I will stop now. Mm -hmm.